First time getting stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Finally found the trail that we're supposed to be on, so let's hit it. We're gonna tied up here, brothers. There it is. Welcome to Michigan Outlaws. We're here in the UP, and it's currently raining, hailing, snowing, hailing, all know. of the above. It sucks a lot, though. <laughs> Last night we got probably a good four inches of snow and now it's wet and it sucks, but we're gonna go take a ride and the first trip too. Oh. Hey! <laughs> oh. We are snowmobiling for the first time this year. We were so excited yeah, for it and it was supposed to get, wow, yeah, it is coming down a lot worse. We were supposed to get a foot of snow, but of course that just never happens. We got about four inches, but up in the UP they already had about a foot and a half. And now this is just straight up hail. Like, look at, look at what's going on here. What is, we're, we always pick the best time to take a vlog, right? I mean, it's just <laughs> terrible timing. It was fine before I turned this camera on, but I mean, goodness, look at this. Straight up shenanigans. We're gonna keep getting all the snow off so we can make it a lighter load. And then we're gonna head down the road to the trailhead, get the snowmobiles out and go for a ride. And we cannot wait, because it's the first time this year and we're and so excited. There's a decent amount of snow <coughs> yes. already packed down. So we're not riding on dirt this time. Our first ride is not gonna be on dirt for the first time in eight years. Yes. That's a Michigan outlaw record. <laughs> Unfortunately, Caleb will not be here with his free ride because he had to have surgery on his shoulder. So he will not be joining us this time, but hopefully in an upcoming trip soon, he will be here. So we brought a guest with us. Savannah's here. All of her new gear. All my new gear, but I forgot my sandals. Oh no. <laughs> and her boots aren't in yet, so she's got a different pair of boots. Yeah. But it'll be just fine because it's like 34 degrees out right now, which it's, is just I'm, stupid warm. I'm warm right now just standing here, so it's going to be interesting riding. Yep. So let's get out of here. Let's get riding. Hey, we made it to the parking lot and it's super deep, so we're just kind of uh, back and back and forth trying to get our entry spot packed down. Chris desperately needs new tires because he's just slipping around. <laughs> but look at this, look at how deep this is here. Like, dang. Should have changed before. Yeah, Cam's kind of screwed. Like it's 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 at boot length right now. I just had to walk <laughs> through it all. I should have changed before. Thought it was gonna be fine here, oh but it's God. not. Actually, you know what? This is fine. I'm completely fine with this. This is amazing, this but is Chris it's is definitely stuck. <laughs> it's going up to our hips. It's up to my knees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, get dressed, get these things out of here, and go enjoy it before it turns back to rain. Well, see, the problem is... No. I don't know if I can get back out. Yeah, you're in a bit of a sucky situation there. later. <laughs> it's only getting worse by the second. And none of us have a toe strap. I have a toe strap. I have Do a toe strap. Yeah. I come prepared. Except right. for when we go to Rocks and Valleys. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, we got the sleds unloaded. We're currently getting our uh, lights hooked up. Chris has his going right now. Right. Just kidding, it's not going right now. Right. It's about to be going. We got our U-Clear Motion uh, Infinity Modules connected. We can hear each other now. That's great. Light is nice and bright. Sleds are all oiled up and fueled up. There's a chance that mine doesn't have a plug in. It's not the same. <laughs> Cam says there's a chance his doesn't work. Should just be right in here, right? Yeah, that's where mine was. Well then. All right, I'm gonna fire mine up.
wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot! Oh my goodness! Whip her over, bud. <laughs> Good grief! took a wrong turn immediately so we're gonna head back there they are those two are getting stuck in the deep snow let's hit it boys <laughs>
All right, well, just real quick, hopefully the GoPro is good enough, but first time getting stuck, trying to turn around on the trail, should have found a better spot. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this unstuck. All right, we're having a real struggle here trying to keep that lens away from the snow and the wetness, because it's currently about probably 33, 34 degrees, so it's like just warm enough that it's kind of watery. It kind of sucky conditions, but we're having fun because this is the first time we've been out since, what, February? It's been a long time, and this is some really good snow. Some of the best snow that we've ridden in in the last couple years, and it is coming down right now. It's not showing signs of stopping either. No. It's coming down. It's nice and heavy. We were thinking that there was going to be some trees down just because it was so heavy, but I haven't noticed anything so far. There's been a few droopies, but nothing like laying across the trail. Yep. All the sleds are doing perfect. Except so the 600. Is... On the trail it's fine, but there's like, <laughs> the track is very dull. Oh, it just gets stuck. It yeah, gets it's got like one inch instantly. lugs. <laughs> but we knew that coming into it, and it's deep here and wet, so it's, it's just not a good combo for that. Check out how deep it is. Up. <laughs> good thing there wasn't a log there. <laughs> yeah, I see a log right there, so I figured right here was a better choice. Yeah, probably. Ah. All right, so we have absolutely no clue where we are because our navigator, Caleb, is not here, and I'm in the lead, and I'm just getting lost everywhere. We have I mean, been on a real trail. Just back and forth. <laughs> and... It's fine, though, because, like, ah! it's an actual trail, so we're, <laughs> we're having a good time here. We've only gone straight, pretty yeah. much, so yeah. Yeah. we either go that way or that way, and that way's back to the truck. Yeah. So... So we're basically just riding until we're out of gas. <laughs> and also, I don't know what time it is, but we got to leave here pretty soon. It's 11 o'clock. Okay. Oh, so we got a couple hours. Half. It's all your fault. Oh! Oh my goodness. Okay, <gasps> okay, okay. Anyway, our new products are working pretty good. The Bite Harder uh, helmet light is pretty awesome from what I've heard. I haven't seen it yet. He I doesn't have, have a plug-in. Yeah, I don't have a plug-in on my snowmobile, which is a real downside. Gonna have to figure that out because I really do want that light. Um, but from what I've seen a little bit, it looks pretty nice. Yeah, check this out. Yeah, except his uh, connection is loose. Whoa, look at that. I think I got water in there. Yeah, there, there it is. That's, that's actually really nice. It's working fantastically for the most part. Especially on days like today when it's just a real white out. Can actually see them. <laughs> yeah. And then those U-clears that we got, communication devices, those, those are working really good. Are so Way nice. better than the radios we so had last year. So much better. Year. Yeah. You just got to like crank up the volume a little bit, but uh, we're figuring it out as we go, and it's already better than what we had last year. We're really excited. This is going to be a great year. This is just the beginning. Lots of big things coming. Let's hit the trail again. <laughs> it's so deep. This is awesome. Oh. I'm not sure the best way to do this, but uh, I guess we're just going to try and walk it out of here. Might have to do another legendary ski pole. Oh, yeah. She's deep. I'm going to need a ski pole. so deep. That was awesome. The problem is, all right, Jake, they're trying to, it's the problem easy. is the snow is so wet, it's heavy. It's just, you get fogged up like that and you're done for. Yeah, as soon as you get going, you're all good. Shots <laughs> fired. <laughs> I'm fine. You're gonna need to clean off that lens a little bit. I'm fine. It's fine. All right, I'm gonna I'll keep you back. All right. We finally found the trail that we're supposed to be on, so let's hit it. Good to go. <laughs> Fish. 
we are breaking trails right here. Man. <laughs> I'm a fan. There was no trail right there, but it looks like so right ahead of us, somebody came this way. Yeah. So going this way, there'll be a broken trail, but right there, there was nothing. That's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going on eight. All right, so we found it here. I mean, I just went right over. Look at the carnage here. I mean, this trail is absolutely ridiculous. There's no way that Savannah's gonna make it down here on her little 600. Not a chance. So me and Jake, we decided to bite the bullet and we're just gonna have to muscle these things a full 180 and just head back to the normal trail. Cause I mean, this is just outrageous. It's so deep. It's so deep. It. Yeah. I mean, it. I don't know what we're riding on right now if it's a creek or what but it just fell right out from underneath me and I just went right over tried to ride it out for a second but I don't know Caleb probably would have got it but I definitely did not it's weird because we were on trail eight and it showed you know take a corner this way so we turned down and we're riding in this stuff yeah this is not a normal trail how deep that is I mean that's, that's my knee. and you're just standing on top of snow yeah it goes there, deeper it goes deeper it's deep here yeah couple inches but yeah still this is incredible this is wild dude and Probably. it's all just powder like look at the trail behind us this is definitely the best riding we've ever done
Just be. kidding, Caleb. It's not fun at all. Don't pay attention to any of this. <laughs> Poor guy. All right, so we are going to muscle these things around, head back to Chris and Savannah who are at the split, and then we're going to take the safer way because we are not prepared for this. No. <laughs> not even. All right, let's do this. So the boys went down a trail to test it out, and it sounded terrible. And Savannah tried to turn, but the snow's so deep, it got stuck again. Now she's just chilling. But, you know, there she is. And I can't get it out. It's too heavy for me. Do. Just straight to the dirt, unfortunately. I need the boys to help ski pull me. Come back, please. All right, so we tried our best. We got a little far. A little far? A little far. We got it halfway. Halfway. Broke out the shovel, brand new, because we're not used to this kind of stuff. We're used <laughs> to riding in about two inches of slush and dirt mix. That's yeah. normal Michigan riding weather. So we got the shovel out and we are going to kind of clear out a path a little bit so that we can basically just shove it around. That's it. I mean, we got it halfway, which is pretty decent, but we we're starting to kind of torque the uh, skis or whatever you want to call it. So trying to get the front end over too. And then we still have Jake's to do. Yeah. Back yeah, 56% battery. Wait, it's on? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was dead. I did anyway, I'm a man about this. Oh, it's not cold out or anything. <laughs> All right, well, we got them out. That we are now facing the right way. Long, way too much work. <laughs> it took way too long. And more upsetting news is that we just got these two undone. And then uh, those two down there, they decided to try and join us. <laughs> so we're going to have to go down there and dig out two more of them. So that'll be fun. Let's go get it. Let's we're, do that. We're a lot of breath here. It's early season. Didn't quite hit the gym hard enough. Didn't hit the gym at all for me. <laughs> but we're hitting the gym today. And uh, thank goodness for this shovel here. Really helped out. That thing came in handy. Let's hit it. Let's go save some more people. Goodbye. We got unstuck. We are on our way back to the truck because we're kind of running out of time. We got to be somewhere tonight, so. Yeah, we're gonna try and make our way back without getting any more lost.
All right, Chris is going to try and back the trailer up without the sleds in it because he's a little stuck at the moment. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. We may need to unhook my trailer and use my truck and pull them out, but hopefully we don't have to. All right, so we got my truck out. That wasn't a big problem. Um, but Chris's is just slipping and sliding in a hole. So you can see we kind of dug out in front and back of the tires. We're gonna try and just forward and back our way out of this thing. If that doesn't work, we're gonna disconnect the trailer, push it back a little bit, and then hook it up to Jake's truck so we only have to worry about the truck. And even at that point, we can hook up a tow strap to Jake's and just haul it backwards. Yeah. It's a little inconvenient with the trailer right now. We'll be able to get it. It's just a matter of time. how we get it and exactly how much time it takes us to do it. It's currently like, I can't see my watch, 1230-ish. So we're not doing too bad on time. We were expecting to be out of here on two. So with the roads being as bad as they are, we'll let you know when we get this thing out. Yeah, so right now we're gonna load cams up and he doesn't have any caliber products on here. So he might just slide right through all this garbage. Is there a life jacket in a snowmobile trailer? This is all Caleb's junk. Thanks, Caleb. The man's not even here. This, okay. This is mine. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ow, watch your noggin. That's a short trailer. That hurt. It hit my head. figure it out well oh, I don't know that was the same way I don't know it's not my trailer I don't know how the heck to load it hugger bud there it Whoa. is just there needed that little bit there it is we're all good to go we're gonna go find some food because we are all absolutely starving and then it's time for some nice warm showers because that sounds great about now instead of this nice chilly shower that we're getting right now it's fantastic <laughs> no sarcasm in her voice no. so we just had to unhook the trailer from chris's as you can see because we could not get it undone so that thing was nice and light and easy to pull out so we did that then we just hooked it up to jake's and pulled it right out so we're all good to go now it was just stuck in that one little spot. Bingo. Now see if you can pull out this way. Yeah! It's lunchtime! Woo! Thanks, pal! 